we're partners. We are? That's amazing! What are the odds? Well, pretty good, actually. So I guess that means you and I are partners, Leo. Fine, I can live with that. No, actually, I'm partners with Jamila. Hello. I am very excited to be part of and to contribute to this team. Uh, what are we doing? Making large dioramas of Jonah and the whale. Well, if you two are partners, and you two are partners, then who am I? Is Bert standing right behind me with a slip of paper? Yep! Does it have my name on it? Uh-huh. Great. Just great. I can hear you, you know. Sorry, I'm just not super excited to work with Bert the Class Bully. Well, sorry, I'm not excited to work with you. Apology accepted? Come on, let's get this over with. See you guys later, unless Bert chains me to a bike rack or something. Any of you want to trade partners? If I was with Gabe, those would be glued already. <laughs> or Leo! Leo would already have this thing built with little robots walking all over it. There. Great. What part of the diorama of Jonah inside a whale is that? I don't know. Feel better? No. Then stop breaking our sticks. You know who would be good at this? Dean. Who's Dean? My friend from my old school. I should be doing this with him. Wait, what are you upset about? You get to work with me. A lot of fun that's been. You get to break stuff? You love to break stuff. I don't like breaking stuff. It just happens sometimes, and it doesn't help when you're being so bossy. Don't call me bossy, bully. Don't call me bully, bossy. All right, I won't. Good, that makes me feel better. Then why are we yelling? I don't know. All right. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do a good job on this. And I'm sorry I just kept being way too honest about everything. I just had planned on being with one of my friends for this. I'm sorry I messed up your plan. Well, I guess it wasn't anything you did. <laughs> Tiny robot legs for the diorama. Spectacular. We have to beat them. Yes, we do. Your hand was covered in glue, wasn't it? Yeah. Not at all, like I planned it. Ruby, could you pass the glue stick, please? Here you are, Mimi. Um, Gabe? Hello, Ruby. Mimi? Hi, Gabe. What? I'm just cutting epiphany stars. <laughs> um, Gabe, can I borrow your stapler? I'm sorry, Ruby, but I just can't take the risk. The risk that I'll staple myself? The risk that my stapler will not be returned. Wait, are you calling me a thief? Ruby, this isn't about you. This is about me protecting my property. How is being a weirdo protecting your property? I'm not being a weirdo. I'm being safe. Well, you're dressed like a huge weirdo. This is my safety suit. In my safety suit, I am safe. <sighs> <laughs> Gabe, I'm, I'm sorry I called you a weirdo. I, I didn't mean it. It's not that. I, uh, I'm just, my family, we got robbed last night. <gasps> robbed? What'd they take? They, they broke a window in our garage. They stole my bike, my dad's tools, my mom's car. I'm so sorry, Gabe. Yeah, Gabe, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I feel so powerless. I mean, is there any good left in the world? <laughs> <sighs> Gabe, why don't we get you out of that helmet? No! If I take my helmet off, I leave myself exposed! <laughs> you rehearsing a play? I wish. No, 
Gabe's lost his faith in humanity. His family got robbed. Oh, I see. Hey, hey, Gabe. Don't come near me. Anything we can do to help? There's nothing anyone can do. I'm all alone in this cruel, dark world. I know how you feel, but that's just not true. You're not alone. What are you talking about, Bert? I don't know. It just seems like that's why we're all here. Why are we all here? I've been wondering about that. You mean church? Sure! Well, to support and remind each other that even though the world can be a really harsh and scary place, God is with us. God brings us healing and makes us whole. At least, that's why I come. So I guess what I'm saying, Gabe, is that we're here for you. Thanks, Bert. You're welcome. You can borrow my stapler now, Ruby. Huh? Oh, right. Thanks, Gabe. I'll give it right back. is better than a Pegasus. That was actually a very well-reasoned argument. I'm convinced. Ah, come on, you! Ah, stupid lock! <coughs> Give me the bike! <coughs> what a surprise. It's Bert the Bully doing something awful. Is he stealing bikes now? That's a new low, even for him. Someone should do something. Hey! Bert! Knock it off! <coughs> Well, our work here is done. Fine, go on. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> it's not like I need help or anything. Oh, did you need help stealing this bike? I'm not stealing the bike. It's my bike. The lock is frozen and I can't get it open and, 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 ah, so. You don't look so good, Bert. I, I'm sick. I've got the gerbil flu. Isn't that where you turn into a gerbil when the moon is full? No. I can't risk it. Bye! <laughs> wow, that's quite a sneeze you got there. Ugh, this is just great. Let's get you inside, Bert. I think I know something that will make you feel better. This is supposed to make me feel better? Oh yes, this is the best of all possible solutions. Just move your feet like you're walking. Uh, okay. Behold, the Bert Bot. Now when you're sick, you can still go out into the world from the comfort of your own home. And it has a heat ray for frozen bike locks. Let's just put on these goggles and you can see through the Bert Bot's eyes. Wow, that's really green. Isn't it wonderful, Bert? As usual, all our problems can be fixed with robots. Well, not all our problems. I challenge you to name one problem that can't be completely fixed with robots. Even if I wasn't sick, I would still feel terrible. Everyone hates me. They call me Bert the Bully. Well, I don't hate you, Bert. Just a thought, though. It might help if you didn't smash stuff when you were angry. You, you may have a point. Wait. So we're friends now? Bert, we were always friends. I mean, I did build a robot for you. Wow. Yeah. That makes me feel better already. <laughs> yep. Quite a sneeze indeed. It's not like her to be late. Yeah, it's more like her to be annoyingly early. I hope she's okay. Of course you do, Leo, because you're in love with her. I'm in love with Roxy? 
I'm in love with Roxy? <laughs> what a ridiculous concept. <laughs> Me and Roxy falling in love and eventually getting married. <laughs> By the sea. Hello, everyone. I apologize for my tardiness. It's all right, Roxy. We're just glad you're okay. I've got great news. I've been accepted into the International Helpers Organization and will be spearheading the North American chapter. That's great news, Roxy! However, this also means that I must scale back my involvement in the Arts and Crafts and Christ Club. Scale back? Yes, I must step down from my position as chair. But the chair is the most important position. They get to wear the Arts and Crafts and Christ Club apron. And they bring the markers in the glue. Who will bring the markers in the glue? As my last act, before stepping down, I appoint Mimi as chair of the Arts and Crafts and Christ Club. Mimi? Mimi? But I don't even know where the markers or the glue are. And I tend to overdo it with the glitter. You'll be fine. I'll train you in. Come on. Okay. First off, you need to make sure... Uh, oh dear, I've knocked my pen onto the ground. Excuse me. I can't believe she's leaving Mimi in charge. Oh, my sweet Roxy, why? Why? <clears throat> I found it. Wait, wait, uh, Roxy, slow down. How much weight can the construction paper hold again? Practically none at all. As I've said, construction paper should not be used for construction. Then why would they call it that? Mimi, you can do this. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Just tell me how I can help you before I have to go. You could not leave and keep everything the way it is. I agree with Mimi. Ah! Guys, this is too big of an opportunity to pass up. And it's a big opportunity for you too, Mimi. You're ready for this. Here. Oh, excuse me. So, Mimi, do you think you're up to the challenge? Yep, she has to be. They moved up the meeting. You'll be fine. Bye, everyone. She's gone. I, I can't believe she's gone. All right, everyone. Today's projects will be dioramas. Uh, dioramas? Why dioramas? I have to choose something. It's my job now. I'm certainly open to suggestions. Anyone? No? Dioramas it is, then. <laughs> So excited! Oh, me too! After all those weeks of folding bulletins, it's time for Pastor Pete to make good on his promise and take us to the second happiest place on Earth! Chester, Chester T. T. Good Times Pizza and Games! Games. Oh, oh, I'm gonna play skidball! I'm gonna play the all-new Crash Tractor 3! Sorry, kids, you won't be able to do any of that today. Wait, what? I hate to be the one to tell you, but Pastor Pete can't take anyone anywhere. The church is on financial lockdown because of emergency repairs in the sanctuary. What happened? Raccoons. <gasps> Did they chew things up? Worse, they threw a party. <gasps> there is no party like a raccoon party. But, but... Pastor Pete promised. And he feels terrible that he can't keep his promise, but... You don't understand, Roxy. We folded a bajillion bulletins because of a promise. A holy covenant that Pastor Pete made with us. Um, that's not what a covenant... A holy covenant, Roxy! He's an adult and a pastor. And he broke his promise and... Oh. <gasps> Gabe? Gabe? <sighs> oh. Roxy, I just had the worst nightmare. Pastor Pete broke his promise, which made me question if anyone could be trusted to keep their promises. <laughs> what a crazy dream, right? <clears throat> so it wasn't a dream then. All right. Thank you. I'm sure Gabe will be fine once... That's probably Gabe overreacting, right? Yep. Gabe, what are you doing? What does it look like? It 
Looks like you're mad at a pile of wood. I'm building an ark in case God decides to flood the entire earth again. But God promised that the earth would never be flooded again. But if promises from Pastor Pete can be broken, then everything is fair game, Roxy. People aren't perfect. Sometimes we break promises, but God's promises are different. Really? We'll just see about that. Leo, good buddy, you reading me? Over. Right here, good neighbor. What's your 20, over? Leo, you've read the whole Bible. How many times does God break a promise? Over. Um, none. Over. So you mean to tell me that God's promises are different than human promises? That's what I've been trying to say. All right, then. I'll clean that up. Promise? Yes, I... Oh, I see what you did there. So, here's what I have so far for my presentation on Youth Sunday. Go for it, Leo! Just remember that the whole church will be watching this tomorrow. <clears throat> Good afternoon! Oh, no, wait, that should say morning because it will be before noon. Um, today I would, uh, w w will be, that is to say, I'll be, um, th the thing about Abraham... Whew, is it hot in here? Because I, uh... So, in conclusion, thank you all for... That's my last card. Thoughts on the presentation? I don't want to use the word hopeless, but your presentation is hopeless. All right. Well, that is one opinion. It's totally fixable, Leo. My grandma was a senator for years, and she became a great public speaker. Your grandma was a senator? Oh, yeah. And now she has two goldfish and a cat. Her life story is a rich tapestry. See, she has a saying. Don't put tinfoil in the microwave. Okay. Did she have anything to say about public speaking? Oh, sure. Trust in God that you have the abilities to do what you need to do. Hmm. Interesting, but not particularly useful. I guess there's only one thing to do. Turn to technology to fix everything. Behold, the Presentatron 5000! It's got a built-in microphone, a water dispenser, and a second set of hands to hold my note cards. But the best part is, I can pre-record my presentation and play it on the suit speakers. That way, if anything goes wrong, I just hit play and move my lips. Like this. Hello, Mimi and Ruby. I'm not really speaking. This is a recording of my voice. Flawless. Today, I will be sharing with all of you what I have learned about the faith of Abraham. I... Ah! Excuse me. <clears throat> As I was saying, Abraham's life is... Ow! Now, why would it... <clears throat> Folks, I'm sorry, but... What the... Why does he have to put jet boots on everything? Sorry, everyone. Just... Give me one moment! Good morning! Today I will be! Good morning! Today I will be! Good morning! Today I will be! You can do it, Leo! Remember what my grandma says! Well, God... Let's try it Mimi's way. There. Sorry about that. I'm going to try this again. Mr. Stanescu. My the kitty ought to be such folks out. Leo, good buddy, you read me over. This is Leo. How much longer till you're done working? Over. Ha! Ah! Gabe, 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 what are you doing? Uh, getting scared by you? It's the Sabbath, Gabe, and you're working. That breaks one of the Ten Commandments. I'm going to have to write you up. What's happening? It's your God grade. Bam! 
C minus. Gabe, what was all that? Over. Ruby, she just kind of brought my whole day down. Over. I'll tell you what's bringing me down. My parents are taking me to this family reunion next week. A total waste of my time. Over. Ha! Ah! So your parents are wasting your time, huh? Ever heard of the commandment to honor your mother and father, Leo? Bam! Good grade! A... Uh, a... D? My grade point average! Forty-five minutes. Just hanging there. How are her arms not tired? Hey, it's Jamila, my best imaginary friend ever! Oh, hello, Mimi. Thank you. But I must to remind you that I am not an imaginary friend. I am real. <laughs> okay, then how do you explain that your family moved here from imaginary land? No, you see, we did not move here from imaginary land. We are from... Hey, check out my new backpack! Oh, that is very lovely, Mimi. Such tiny horses on it. I wish I had such a fine backpack. Ha! Oh, finally! You broke one of God's laws, Jamila! Uh, I did? You said that you wanted a backpack like Mimi's. That's coveting your neighbor's goods. Bam! Oh, no! Thank you, Ruby. You are right. Excuse me? You're right, I was breaking a commandment. I try my best, but I'm not perfect. Yeah, I knew you'd slip up eventually. It's a good thing God loves me no matter what. Yeah, but... But you broke a law. You should feel bad right now. I do not think God's laws are meant to make us feel bad or to judge one another. <laughs> what else could they be for? Well, to teach us how to live. How to love God and love others. Well, why do I feel suddenly like I wasted my entire day following you around? Well, it was nice to spend the day with you, Ruby. I'm just glad to see my best friend and my imaginary friend getting along so well. So, what's this place called again? The library. We need at least three primary sources for our report on snakes of the Bible. Why did we suddenly have to do this primary source stuff? You know what we did in kindergarten? Finger paints, and it was pretty great. Uh, Gabe? We're not in kindergarten anymore. You got that right, Leo. Kindergarten was way better than this. I'm gonna get something to eat. So, I'll just do the rest of the report myself then? Hello? Let's see, macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese. Eh. Ah! Macaroni and cheese is a nightmare. Back when I was a kid, it would just appear out of nowhere. <gasps> ah! None of this cooking nonsense. Ugh. Ugh. This doesn't taste right at all. Wait, you have to heat it up too? This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Oh, Moses, why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? Look out, snakes! Gabe, it's your line. It's my line again? Why do I have so many lines for this Sunday school skit? When I was little, all we had to do was cherub choir songs. So what do you want to do, Gabe? Go back to being a baby? No, all I'm saying is being a little kid was way easier. Now there's book reports, chores, and <laughs> making food. Where does it all end, Ruby? Gabe, I'm going to say this as nicely as I can. Grow up. That was saying it nicely? It's part of nature, Gabe. You can handle it. Unless you want to be in cherub choir when you're 80. Next time, won't you live? That's absurd. I wouldn't need dentures. I brush my teeth twice a day. The point is that it's part of God's plan that you grow up and do more. But how am I supposed to deal with all this new hard stuff? Just blindly stumble through it? That's part of it. 
but you could also try looking to God. It's like what Pastor Pete said when they made him upgrade from his typewriter. Look to God through painful transition. All right, Ruby. I guess you make a good point. I do. I'm very smart. Snake attack! laptop. Well, I have to work on this paper mache bust of Andrew. Andrew is the only follower of Jesus we have yet to immortalize in old newspaper for the Arts and Crafts in Christ Club. And? And I'm not playing on my laptop. As the club's treasurer, I'm going over how much money we have for the upcoming... Oh, no. All right, I'll redo Andrew's nose. Everyone's a critic. No, it's the Arts and Crafts in Christ Club. We're out of money. What? <laughs> Good one, Leo. Running out of money isn't a thing. Mimi, since you're the chair of the club, it is my duty to inform you that we are officially out of money. Seriously? Running out of money can actually happen? We're going to have to shut down starting tomorrow. Wow. That's terrible. Um, I have to go. Oh, man, she's really taking it hard. Wouldn't you? Mimi's been in the Arts and Crafts and Christ Club since first grade. What are we going to do? I'm going to keep reviewing the numbers to see if I made a mistake. What? Hmm, this is strange. Someone just deposited a lot of money in the club's bank account. That's great! Then the club can keep going, right? But where did the money come from? Where does money ever come from, Leo? It's just one of those mysteries. No, it says anonymous donor next to the deposit and they just made the deposit at the bank down the street. Come on, maybe we can catch them. I think they came this way. Do you see anyone, Ruby? No, unless that's them over there. You there! Are you the anonymous donor? Come back here! So we can thank you! Mysterious Disguise Revealer! Uh, Leo? What are you doing? Just give it a minute. <gasps> Mimi? You're the one who donated money to the Arts and Crafts in Christ Club? Um, yes. That was a lot of money. Where did you get it all? Her parents, obviously. No, I sold my collection of tiny unicorns. But you love your tiny unicorn collection. Yeah, but I gave them up to save our favorite club. But why didn't you tell anyone? I didn't want you guys to make a big deal about it. I can't believe you sacrificed your entire tiny unicorn collection. Thank you. Sometimes it's just the right thing to do. And sometimes playing tag is the right thing to do. You're it! She is full of surprises. Yeah. You're it! No way! Whoa! 